All right, it's time for Ranked 5's Kha'Zix. It's the one that won the boat. Which one? I know, the other one's Lowy Low Kha'Zix, which I could still upload to show a good to a contrast between Ranked 5's that are serious and whatever, and Lowy Low. Anyways, you all saw this probably, you saw the video that was uploaded before. We have a little level 1 scuffle, and I sacrificed my life to risk getting the first blood. We do get the first blood, and we also get the second blood, I think. No, no, who the- I don't- I forgot who dies next. Whatever. As you know, if you saw the video and you want to, like, you know, different, uh, views of it, we kill- uh, we kill all of them, actually. We kill- it's a delayed ace, sort of say, speak, because one of them ends up respawning and, you know, kind of screws the whole thing over. But we kill everybody. And we only lose two. So that would mean we have a great advantage early. Considering Corky got three assists and two kills. And does bought himself a second door and blade and, po and potions. And even a mana potion. And the Gnar was able to buy two long swords. You think that's an advantage, right? You you would definitely think that. But now let's take a gander at bottom lane. So, I'll just tell you right now. Runes for my Kha'Zix are attack damage reds, attack damage queens, armor yellow. Some magic resistance blues and about, I think, six cooldown reduction blues. My masteries are 21, 9, 0. So, it's the ones you were, you know, they're kind of trending right now. I really love Kha'Zix when he's focused on W. I hate Kha'Zix when he's focused on Q. Anyways, as you saw, Jarvan pretty much booted me out of top lane and the Nard didn't react at all to it, so he pretty much gave him a kill. Just as this is happening, though, bottom lane 2 will be buried. Well, I uh, well, soon enough at least. Uh, clearly, there you go, there's a death. I can't really assist him because I got my ass kind of handed to me, and then Nami is going to die right now, too. So, you know, that advantage we were supposed to have early game, it didn't fucking exist. So, or it didn't mean anything. Jarvan keeps trying to gank mid lane, too, so I, I have it up for me right now. Top lane should basically be fine because, I mean, Nar is, is hard to gank. That's a player makes mistakes. Bottom lane needs my help, but Thresh is very hard to gank as Kha'Zix. And Lucian himself deals a lot of damage in short order. Mid lane was ganked by Jarvan again, but at least she was able to kill her one of her attackers. The best bet for me really is just to kind of try to find the Jarvan and stop him. Fortunately for me, the Jarvan just goes straight on the Lux while I'm here, and I go stealth. Though the stealth kind of was wasted, I should have used my passive first and stealth and whatever. But I kill uh, Jarvan after he kills Lux. Then I go on the Ari and I flash away just to make sure that the second Q doesn't hit me. Though I'm not too sure on ret in retrospect if the second Q st still hit me anyways. I mean, uh, not the second Q, the Q coming back over me. Uh, the orb. Still, I killed Ari. Love, yeah, the world is fine or whatever, and the Nar also killed his top lane opponent. Therefore, I don't need to help top lane anymore or even consider it. I was thinking a little bit about not anymore. So, my teammates and I are on chat are, and are communicating. They grab the Nami, so I stealth just to avoid maybe seeing a ward there and they immediately flash away or whatever. Yeah, so, I jumped on them and since they showed up, they realized, holy shit, we can't even try to skirk out a kill here. So, they just tried running away. Two kills later... Boom, we gain control of this area. However, the Jarvan must have snuck in a dragon. Is it, did he get a dragon? Did I ward it? No, they get a dragon after later. Okay, there you go. There's a dragon right there. I didn't even notice that they were trying to do it, so we were kind of flabbergasted there. I jump on the Jarvan. He runs away, kind of a waste of my ultimate. And then I kind of loom over, I loom around trying to get, guess where he might be. So my bottom lane teammates... Uh, get two kills. I find myself a Jarvan. He was coming down bottom. I jump over and just start bl blasting at him. You know, Jarvan really had no escape here. If he kept walking, waiting for me to use my E, I would have never used my E. I would have just hounded him, stabbed at him, and just bl blasted at him. And if he uses EQ, well, I just chased after him with my E. So yeah, he was a goner straight out. They are going to get an assist. That kind of makes me a little bit sad. Thresh catches me. Doesn't amount to much. I, I thought maybe he'd be alone, but now nah, I thought, you know, he's probably going to have teammates. So I back off. Right now we're communicating. Their late game is really strong. Our late game is very strong. We can't lose any advantage. We, we can't lose any, you know, advantages that we gain. But in this, uh, but this is like our panic point here. I go in trying to get two kills. I don't have the mana, and I guess I didn't have enough of the health to do so. So I pretty much, we pretty much gave Lucian three kills and a red buff. So that was a huge misplay on my part and my bottom laner's part. 
Right now we're discussing it. We need objectives. As you can see, we don't have any fucking towers. We don't even have dragons. The enemy team has gold advantage despite the fact that we have more kills. It's pretty much the er the only thing that's kind of giving us the kill advantage is the early game level one fight. But then even so, we're 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 losing. We're pretty much we're way behind. We need to skirk out of victory somehow. So. Uh, the Lucian is put. So Lucian and Thresher mid lane. I respawn. I have myself some cooldown reduction. I have about thirty five percent. No, I think. I, well, this is forty percent. Yeah, I catch myself the Thresh. I kill him and I I flee. I run the hell away. So we gain some advantage there, but they still pretty much control the map along with Dragon. My bottom laners are pushing the bottom, and I'm heading there as quick as I can with the Nar to try to stop him because the enemy team is collapsing on them. However, they play that so wrong. Lucian goes straight into melee range, and Corky just basically anal blasted him and killed him. And then Nas is pretty much between all three characters that we anal blast him too. So the enemy team very, really, really misplayed it, and I don't know what the hell the Nar was doing there, but he pretty much gave them a free kill. We gained a tower at least, so that gives us at least some advantage. Two, we have bottom lane push two towers in, which is a lot, you know, at least a, a huge thing for us. They still have the tower advantage. Well, at least two towers. Jump on the Aria, I kill her, and I don't let uh, Lux get the kill. Now I'm like, you gave me assist, so I don't give you a kill. Navy team breaks out in the fight, and they kind of scatter this out. Like, they're kind of stretched out too thin. The Lucian's way behind them, so they don't have any damage. I kill Thresh and use him, use that to recharge my leap and jump jump forward. I don't get the Lucian, but I'm, I chase after the Jarvan. And I clip him with my W, which pretty much means that he is not going to get away. So we get ourselves a Jarvan kill there. The enemy team uh, on the replay is, still shows the enemy team with a slight gold advantage. But we're, we're narrowly closing the gap. We're getting there. We're, go we're fighting them. We're getting there. Uh, right now, uh, we get in a fight, we really don't actually kill anybody. It's really scattered. We kill Thresh there, we, then we kill Lucian, and then I try, try to go for Artie, but she, you know, skirts off alive. Then I forgot, uh, what's his face? Jarvin comes in, doesn't get to accomplish much, and we just kind of run away. We still, now we finally actually do have advantage of the game. We have a gold lead. We started getting ma map control. What I'm telling my team is right now we kind of have to push our lead. We don't have a real tank. I mean, our NAR team, NAR can be a tank, but our NAR is building pretty much that whole bruiser thing, which I don't quite like that kind of build on NAR. I, I much prefer him to be a sort of, you know, pure ass tank. Have maybe one item, like a brutalizer, and then we'll pure tank. But now watch this scene very importantly. We actually tell our Corky. Taunt them, make them attack you. We're using them as bait because they used everything to kill the Nar. So look at them. They all cluster up. All the damage from the, the Lux and all the damage from me just annihilates the enemy team. And all, it, all it did is cost us the Corky's life. We were telling him on Skype, A, bait them. They used everything to try to kill the Nar and the Nami. And then they put themselves up in a little glob of ball, and we just destroyed them. That was right there, using, or using the knowledge of the fact that they had nothing to fight us off. They pretty much burned everything. Corky did all the AoE he could before he dropped. Lux just pretty much anal blasted them with their E, and then destroyed them with their uh, ultimate. And then I just, you know, picked them off. I used my W to deal some damage, and I jumped around like a maniac. So here's sort of the same thing. I don't have any mana to really continue fighting, so I just go in, and kill Thresh, and sort of actually lure them out. I get to just try to get me because I'm an easy kill, but they they fail. They kind of shouldn't have been focusing me because I was no longer a threat. So we get two kills for one, a one like one kill that they got very early. It didn't really matter. So I'm here still. Uh, pushing, like, just pushing the jungle, taking what I can, just getting some more resources, so when I go back, I'll be able to buy myself a really delicious item. Uh, well, again, we have full control here. We're, well, we don't have any wards, because I don't have, the only th ward I have is on my, uh, trinket slot. I, I said, you know what, we're not, we don't have enough wards, and I don't have enough pockets, so I'm buying myself a pink ward, and I'm keeping my yellow one. So, my team, for the most part, is lacking wards except a few people who decide to, you know, be awesome enough to plant them. In most ranked 5 games, or in most actual, you know, team games, you'd want to be planting out your wards. Here, I kind of misuse my ultimate again. I use it when nobody could have seen me anyways. I jump in, I kill myself with Thresh, and then I stick in the middle and just to keep, you know, blasting away the team. My teammates also just kind of, I guess, destroy the rest of their team. The Jarvan's ultimate was one of those I'm helping ultimates. It really, really screwed up his team. The only one that was locked in there was me. 
like i mean yeah use it to kill somebody but i was locked in there and i was just you know having a, my way with them it's like oh you can kill me all you want but i'm kind of beefy at this point my teammates just had free reign of blasting at them in a the little circle of death so that was really really bad ultimate by jarvin it kind of cost him that fight though i don't know if they could have won it anyways so We've gained the dragon, we've gained the positional advantage. You can see I bought myself a last whisper that pretty much the final item you need is uh, uh, Kha'Zix. This fight here is awkward, but regardless, the, the Nas has had no way of, you know, fighting me. This W was just bad, I don't know what the fuck I was uh, thinking right there. But still, my, my passive keeps him, you know, locked in, I apply my W and I slowly, slowly kill him. Nobody on the enemy team can fight me one-on-one. -on -one. They can they kite me? Probably, but they can't really, you know expect to survive my teammates themselves are huge and powerful now we were discussing that sky that we should really just look towards ending this or at least controlling the baron right now we're pushing the tower well i'm pushing top with corky and again we can't really dive we need one really good fight or a baron push to secure this win they jump on me but come on i have my stealth and i jump out anyways and i loop around seeing if i can get something done so they engage on my teammates they get blasted by aoe and then they get sort of get skirted off Boom, there comes a the laser, but they're pretty much just going to get picked off here. I go in, I kill one, get the, uh, get the passive off, and my W along with the Nami heal keeps me up alive. I love Kha'Zix's W. I love that move when I evolve it and it's significant. So W Kha'Zix, I know I repeat it a lot, it makes him so, so useful. We push forward, Jarvan jumps in, doesn't accomplish much. In comes the enemy team, and they too are pretty much going to get hand blasted. I go in, kill Lucian, the rest of the survivors really can't do much against us. We kill Thresh right here, I believe. Yeah, Thresh dies. Nasus is pretty much stuck between all of us. I think he dies too, yeah. Arya gets to live. We we don't get to get Nexus turrets or the Nexus because the inhibitor responds and trolls us. So they get to fight on a little longer. They get to hold on. But the gold advantage is almost 50, well, over 15,000 at this point, right? Yeah, 15,000 or a little bit less than that. We're, we're, the advantage is way too much on our side, so that pretty much they can't win. Uh, we get close, we round ourselves up. I don't know, we're just starting to troll each other, wasting some disposing abilities on each other. And so right here, Lux purposely misses her laser. And I, I think that's kind of disrespectful, but whatever, we're winning anyways. We're just gonna, the game is going to end in this fight. The enemy team sort of cluster up. They jump on me, I stealth away. It's like, they kind of should stop learning to do that. And they pretty much just group up and get destroyed by our AoE once again. I, I you know, just jump on the Lucian. I get the kill on the uh, Ari, I believe? No. Oh, the Ness is the, the Ari gets killed. Why well, not? You do get the Ari kill. And then the, the team pretty much gets wiped out. So here we go. We win this fight. Like, I think the, the main, main thing that made us win was that fight right there where they got bunched up and it was, uh, we wiped them out 3v5. Oh, I love the AoE. And hooray for us, Team Cute Grills.